Today on the show, we are going to pick our 2024 midsize pickup truck of the year. And this one may surprise you because I think there's a lot of value with this pickup truck. And I think right now, the way the market is stacking up from basically $30,000 all the way to $70,000, I think uh, value is a strong place we need to see for a pickup truck. Because if you wanted to go find the most capable pickup truck, they all make something that's overly priced and gives you all the bells and features. And they all someone have, if you want a bare bones vehicle, they all seem to have something in that category as well. So I want to jump into this one and show you guys right from the get-go. I'm not even going to play around with this one right here because this is your ATN pickup truck of the year right here. And this is the Nissan Frontier. And this may surprise you a little bit. You may be like, Dave, are you on crazy juice? What are you doing right now? And I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why that I think this pickup truck right now is my ATN truck of the year. And value is the biggest thing. Because if you look right now for, the, I have this is a Nissan Pro 4X. This is their offered edition. You get a rear locker in the thing. You get a big naturally aspirated V6 engine in this thing, which is probably one of the last and it's in this segment to do it besides Ford, you're getting a lot of cool truck things that you need. You know, you can get a bed liners and all that stuff in it. And you're getting a kind of a smaller bed. I know that some people might find value in the longer bed, which for my, the way I view these vehicles, I'm just as a whole, I'm looking at them and going, okay, this is where I think the, the best deal in the industry is. And I think for 41,975, as you can see right now, the way it's priced out, I think there's a lot of value in there considering that, okay, that's $42,000. The current pickup truck, the uh, new 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor that I own was $58,000. So you can see there is a big monetary difference right there. And that's one reason why I think this is it could be a great value to people. And I think it's overlooked a lot of times because for whatever reason, people like to just kind of poo-poo on the Nissan brand and they build trucks, especially this midsize truck. It built a damn good truck of this thing and it's been proven for a long time so let's i want to look at a couple things about this and go from there first off nissan does offer you some cool colors in this thing this is their cardinal red tri-coat they do have if you want something a little brighter this is their red alert they do have some greens they've got some uh, kind of khakis you know basically whatever the industry is doing they, they do follow along with this thing but you know look at the white version of this thing glacier white Great looking pickup truck. Now I want to go to, like I said, I want to show just a couple quick features of this thing. The interior of this thing where people might go, oh man, what is going on here? I like that it's an honest pickup truck. You get a nice screen in this thing. You do get a lot of the connected features, the Android Auto and all that. You do get dual zone climate control. So if you and you're a person, whoever's riding with you, like uh, want to fight over the, um, the coolness, you can do that or the hot, you know, you want different in heated seats and all that you do can get heated seats as option in this thing you uh but look at the tack you get a real tack in this thing you do get some digital uh readouts of that so if you're into uh hey i like the old school tax nissan's got you covered i will say the steering wheel of all this looks great it's very handy very comfortable it's not too big it's not too small when we've driven this vehicle uh shifter i would like to see maybe something uh, i don't know something slightly um more masculine as a shifter but then i mean it gets the job done right you do get a lot of nice cool stitching with this thing so i can't beat the interior of this truck up too bad once again they're falling away the industry does with stamping the name in the tailgate i'm give or take with that really um I, I kind of would like to see that faded away or something new to pop up, but is what it is. You do get cool badging. Look, you uh, people will know that you're in Nissan's most capable offer vehicle. It does say Pro 4X up there. And uh, let's look at some of the packages real quick. You know, they do like a, a premium package for $2,700. You can get the Fender audio package if you want a nicer nicer sound system. This thing, they do have some technology packages there. But let's just quickly, let's add the premium package. And you're going, it, it removes the cloth red stitching seats. And we're going to get the charcoal leather seats in this thing. We're going to get Pro Forex convenience package and you're getting the technology package. So we're going to hit accept on that. Of course, it is going to bring the price of this thing up, but you're still, you're getting where Toyota might be with the new Tacoma in their uh, TRD off-road where it might be $51,000. You're still saving quite a bit of money here and you're getting all the same cool features. Now, Yes, Nissan doesn't have the goofy speaker that pops out that nobody's ever going to use. Uh, it's cool for press when we go to these events. You go, oh, that's something cool to focus on. Nobody's ever going to pop that thing out and actually use it. So you're not getting those goofy things, but you do get, you know, you get a lot of space. The rear of this thing, uh, seating position is nice. You do get some under seat storage of this. Of course, you get this Fender sound system in there. They do put a subwoofer under the seat. But look, you're getting cool tow hooks. You do get some skid plates under this thing. I believe the gas and... Uh, the belly there has skid plates, but you're not getting rock rails, something some of the other manufacturers uh, might throw under there. But guess what? 
I generally want somebody else's rock rails under under the truck anyways. If I'm going to do truly exploring and off-roading, generally I don't find the uh, manufacturers uh, to be up to snuff, basically. So let's uh, quickly look at some of the accessories you can get here. Wheels doesn't look like you get too many uh, too many options for wheels. They do medic kits, stuff like that, if that's important to you. Storage, you do get a lot of options for that. You got a lot of you know tailgate. You can get the, uh, the netting for that. They do have some assists there. They do have some uh, fold-out racks as well. So if you need to haul something a little bit uh, longer and don't want it sliding out, there it is there, the bed extender. You can see it right there. Uh, you can do that. And Nissan's been the leader of this technology for a long time. So uh, it's pretty interesting if you've got a motorcycle, something like that. You can definitely tell they've shaped it for motorcycles. Yeah, there's a lot of options down here. And I don't want to go too far because we've already, uh, we've already added so much. And look, we're almost done. The build summary of this thing, 47,520. Now, granted, that is just a plain white vehicle, but I didn't see Nissan upcharging for any of their colors. So uh, let's look at there. Rear of this thing looks good. And the thing I like about this truck the most, you're getting some Bilstein shock absorbers in this thing. It is lifted ever so slightly. I think it has a one-inch lift versus the other, uh, the SV and the other trims. I probably would put new tires on it, but that's about any truck I've ever bought that I want to put my own tires that I enjoy on there. And it looks great. It, it does resemble a little bit of uh, previous versions of other brands' trucks a little bit, but yet it's still very Nissan on its own. And we do know there is a refresh coming of this vehicle. So I would expect that if you want to see a uh, weight, maybe Let's see, but there's plenty of these on the dealership lots. So uh, 18 city, 22 highway combined of 19 miles per gallon, which is not the best in the industry, but I've tested this vehicle. And I've gotten way better than what Nissan quotes on their website. So that's something to think about. You are getting a 310 horsepower, 3.8 liter V6 engine, naturally aspirated, no turbos. But if they did add turbos, imagine how many horses you could uh, add to that thing. It would be pretty cool. You do get some uh, cool wheels and, uh, you know, the over fenders, stuff like that, because it is an off-road trim. They do give you just a little bit of that look, but you are getting a hell of a vehicle. And I think for $47,000, I think that sways me a lot to call this pickup truck, my pickup truck of the year. And uh, in the comments below, I'm curious where you're at with this thing, because I think we, yes, you can always look at the most flashy buttons and all that. And that sway you to call, Hey, this is what I think the best truck of the year is. But right now, you're getting a lot of those features with this truck. You're getting a V6 engine, which is uh, seems to be dying in this, this uh, category of vehicle. And it still does honest truck things. Four-wheel drive system, rear locker. Uh, you don't have to worry about all the fancy, you know, oh, well, I've got to be in what mode to get it to do this. No, you put it in four-wheel drive, and it does what it's supposed to. So in the comments below, I'm curious where you're at with this thing. What do you think is there, uh, your pickup truck of the year? And uh, can you agree that there's a lot of value in this truck? And do you see my point of like, hey, I think the value, the pricing of this vehicle really sways me when you consider uh, you can get $70,000 in a pickup truck now, which is just freaking ridiculous. And I think all day long, I would be swayed to uh, the 2024 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. So leave me a comment. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or this badass little Nissan that I have drove, we'll drive again. It's been your all-terrain nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.